So we're going to fix the uh, dual handle here. You can see that it's broken. So this is the Samsung WD8704EJA. <coughs> you can see there, it's sheared off. I ordered a spare part online, and what we're going to do to fix this, we need to take all of these screws here, take them all out, and then we'll revisit. So we've got all the screws out. We should have uh, two, four, six, eight, twelve. I ordered a new part, and it's part uh, E6 180, part number. I don't know what that is, but I ordered that from uh, Big Warehouse Spares, which is in New South Wales. Uh, it came in about two days. It was $55, including delivery. It was pretty reasonable. I think that the, the actual part is about forty-five or fifty dollars, something around there. All right. So to take this, we have to take this silver part off, away from this grey part. And I found it quite difficult the first time. Can't really get in there. So what I ended up doing was taking a wooden skewer, just to yeah make chicken skewer things with and pushing it through one of the screw holes and holding on to this part here and pushing just gently and doing it a few times through a few different holes. So I'm going to do that now. Hopefully we'll get the ring off which will expose the handle mechanism here. Okay, okay so that came off fairly easily through one hole and the whole piece comes off. I'll just place that there and you are left with the bare part here. Now I haven't done this part before so I'm going to have to take some photos just to make sure I remember what it looks like um, so that when I'm putting it back in it'll make sense to me but it looks like there's a pin here. Um, there's no pin underneath. And it'll go in that way. So I'm going to show you how the mechanism goes together. We've got this latch part here is on the outside. So when you have the door it goes through that way and will actually go into the, the locking mechanism that way there. Okay, so that stays on the outside. Then you've got the coils here. The coils stay on the outside. The other important part is that this bar here stays on the inside of the latch like that. Okay, that took me a couple of goes to, to work out how it actually went. You can't get inside to have a look really. Okay, and then that piece you have to actually turn it to get it in. And then the pin drops down straight through the center like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. You won't be able to see it, but I'll, I'm just going to drop, put it into the door now and put the pin in. Okay, so I've managed to drop the pin from the top down through this grey plastic part here. Let's get some focus through the handle. Okay, so that's the handle there. Down through one part of the spring, making sure that the coils are on the outside towards the out outer side of the door. Then through the locking, the latch mechanism, 
and then through the other side of the spring, through the bottom side of the handle, and then into um, the the grey dark grey door part, and then it's actually this is a stopper down the bottom, which is also part of the door. So now what we need to do is take the tensioners and drop them back into the little recesses here and underneath here, which I'll do now. And normally these things are quite difficult, but in fact these are fairly straightforward. Just use the pliers, you can use your fingers. I'm going to stop the video just because you need two hands to do it and I'll show you the finished version. And there we go, we have locking mechanism making sure the latch is on the outside so that when you pull the door it pulls it back that way and the spring locks it back into place okay so the key things are remember to have the the bar of the spring on the inside here the coil parts are on the outside make sure everything's lined up and these go back into the recess you're good to go then all we need to do is drop the outer ring back onto the, the door and we're ready to do some washing <laughs>